It's another edition of Behind the Mic with Audiophile Magazine. Publisher Michelle Cobb is with me. We're talking about audiobooks. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Hi. We are talking about audiobooks, but almost nothing that we are talking about this week is actually an audiobook, which is well, funny. This is true, too. <laughs> audio programs, audio programs. Audio performances. There you go. Okay, so what performance are we talking about today? The Safe Man by Michael Connolly and Terrell Lee Langford, performed by Jack Quaid, Titus Welliver, and a full cast. Aha. Uh-huh. So tell me about The Safe Man. Of course, we all know Michael Connolly. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm a huge Michael Connolly fan. Yeah. And he said, hey, do you want to do this? I was like, oh, Michael Connolly? Yes. Yeah, sign <laughs> me up. Okay, tell me about this one. So this is a really good example of top-notch sound design and acting coming together to make what was originally a short story adapted into something that was completely engrossing. So it's actually a podcast that has eight separate episodes, but you're dropped into each episode as if there is no breaks. So it felt odd that they were calling it a podcast on some level. And it's less than two hours, so I listened to it in, you know, one long walk. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just sucked in from the very first moment. So the premise is that Lacey Robinette, who is the teenage daughter of a famous author, Paul Robinette, that's played by Titus Welliver, she's gone missing. And the safe man, a man who literally comes into people's houses to crack saves, Brian Holloway, this is played by Jack Quaid, he's hired to open an extremely unusual safe at Robinette's new house. And we catch him at the beginning being interrogated by the police about this missing girl. Okay, so this sounds like that kind of complicated Michael Connolly plot Oh, yes, because Brian's father, you should know, is in jail, and he was an illegal safe cracker, and his illegal safe cracking resulted in the death of a police officer. So that makes Brian himself a very easy suspect because it's all in the Right. Well, where's Brian supposed to learn how to crack a safe? He can't go to school for that. (laughs) Well, you can. Oh, can you? Sign me you up. Can, you can learn about safes, yeah. I mean, he's not doing it illegally, so he oh, is. He's like a locksmith. You know, legally going into, yeah. yeah, he's legally going into people's houses to open a safe that has been there in this case for a very long time. And what's on the other side of the safe? Well, that's where we deviate from what I think of as a typical Michael Conley book, because I think of him as writing mysteries, but this is a ghost story. Well, let's hear a little bit. Tell me what we're going to hear. What's the setup? Okay, so this is when David and Paul face off over the missing safe door. Okay, this is The Safe Man by Michael Connolly and Terrell Lee Langford. It's read by Jack Quaid and Titus Williver and a full cast. Mr. Robinette, this is a surprise. The door to my safe, where is it? Uh, you told me to get rid of it, uh... I did. I need it back. Why? Because that little girl you told the cops about is back. I need you to bring back the safe door. What would that do? What's it got to do with the little girl? I think she's a ghost. And you let her out. What? I'll explain it when you get here. Bring the door to the safe. Come in. Where's the door to the safe? I told you I got rid of it. Where's the girl? I don't know. The house is locked down, and she somehow comes and goes. Like a ghost. Have you called the police? To report a ghost? They'd think I'm nuts, or they'd think it was a publicity stunt. Okay, A, great beginning, great soundscape. Yes. Really, really good soundscape. I mean, I don't like ghost stories, but this sounds actually pretty terrific and and it is pretty terrific so go out and listen okay i can deal with that that's the safe man by michael Connolly, tara lee lankford 
read by Jack Quay, Titus Welliver, and a full cast. Michelle, thank you. You're just hitting them out of the park this week. Well, I didn't do it. These audio publishers did it. They hit it out of the park. I just get to talk about it. Speaking of hitting it out of the park, what's happening Friday? Because Friday, we're having an interview, not a review. Who are you talking to? That's true. I'm going off theme, and I'm talking to Dara Rosenberg, who has read the Rose Beaufont series. And she gets to play lots of fun and interesting characters. She does one title a month, basically. In oh, my the goodness. Series. Yeah, and she's been doing it for years, you know, different offshoots of different series, this big Beaufont family. Uh, so, yeah, take a listen on Friday to hear our conversation. Oh, it sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Brilliance Publishing brings you the sound of storytelling and is the sponsor of today's episode of Behind the Mic. I'm Joe Reed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow.